All right, uh, what are we, November 18th, just coming to the shop. Everybody's asking questions, which I don't blame you. But um, anyway, there she is sitting there. She's actually dirty, dusty, I should say. So we have a LS3 out of a 2012 Camaro. It's actually called the L99 because it's an automatic, but it's pretty much the same motor. Um, took it out of a running, driving car, separated the motor, had the motor done over, freshened up, and I installed a turbo cam and upgraded the valve train, again, for the turbo. I wasn't planning on racing it, but it just makes it more efficient when you start adding boost and stuff like that. Um, AC's all hooked up. What's going on? The power steering. It's got a Mustang 2 front end, so I needed that fitting for the power steering to work, for the steering to work properly anyway, because um, it's actually pumping out. The GM pumps out, I think, like 1,200 pounds PSI, and the Mustang 2, I think, takes around 600. So anyway, the bed is brand new. I got it from uh, LMC Trucks with the stainless. Um, the inside. And I keep this covered up because I just had the seats. That guy from uh, Buju from Unique Whip um, did the seat. It's all leather. I'll just explain it to you guys about the transmission tunnel with the bigger tranny. You just have to. Uh, See the transmission sits right there. Just gotta cut that and, and uh, kind of bend it around so it'll fit. There you go, the gauges, you know, Dakota gauges. I'll show you in the video before. Um, anyway, I just had the truck rewired too from the headlights to the taillights and everything in between. So it's all new wiring. The rear end, I actually had a 12 bolt rear end for it, but um, let's just say a so-called friend of mine, I had it at his shop and the rear end disappeared. So it's got the stock rear in the back. I also had a four link for it that I was gonna put with the 12 bolt and all of that stuff disappeared. So. Um, and I think it's on an S10 chassis, to be honest with you. I'm really not 100% about that. The gas has been relocated to the back. Uh, let see if I can get a shot under there. The gas tank's in the back. I got the filler neck on the other side uh, coming out the rear fender. Um, and that's about it. Like I say, to finish it, the ECU, the transmission control module, when I had the thing programmed with the ECU, I didn't mate them together, so they needed to be mated together. So the transmission control module has to come out and they have to be uh, shipped together and made it to, and um, programmed together. The place is in South Jersey. Um, so I got my hands full. If I don't sell it, like I said, I'm not pressed to sell it. If I sell it, I sell it. If I don't, then I don't. It'll just sit there until I can get to it. Part of the reason is that, um, honestly, uh, that fitting for the power steering is tucked in there pretty good. So, uh, if you can see it, there's the fitting right there so that the thing I ordered from Jegs has to either go there or down on the rack. And it's just tight, man. Everything's just tight. Anyway, that's the deal. All right, we'll start it up. I should start it up. Um, just so you guys can... Well, I sent you a video running before, but let's see. Uh. 
see it cranks right up. The, de the gas still has to be programmed for everything. I don't want to run it too much, get fumes all in the shop. Um, yeah, the dash has to be programmed for, uh, you know, the RPMs work, but for everything else, the volts, the oil pressure, blah, 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 blah. Um, so that's basically that. <laughs>